It's Chris here for Friendly Frenzy Games and today we're diving into the second Omega Corporation escape room to explain and solve all of its puzzles. This one is called The Office. If you like this video or it helps you at all, give us a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games for many more full escape simulator walkthroughs just like this one. So you can see here we've kind of graduated from the lobby and we've made it to um, the office level of rooms here. A couple of different puzzles in the room. Again, obviously, we always kind of start with a few available to us with some very obvious clues around the room here. Um, the first one that's easiest to start with is you can kind of see this color combination on the um, safe here with a couple of different colored poster notes. We have white, blue, and red, obviously. Just the lock that kind of corresponds to this one here, as you can see, it's a three-letter lock. And all of this tying all together, we're going to have a blue folder kind of right above the um, fridge here. So we can go ahead and collect that. You can see there's a couple of different folders throughout the room too. The black ones here don't have a clue icon, so we aren't going to need that. You can see kind of in that same grouping of folders, we have a white folder here with a clue icon in the top toolbar here. And then our red one is actually just across the room here on top of this filing cabinet. So you can see here we have three colored folders that line up with the three colored post-it notes here. So putting two and two together, we know that these clues are going to help us solve this first lock. If we quick open the folder, you'll see we have annual report with the number 70 on the red folder. We open our white one. It's the same annual report, but there's a different number here, 72. And our blue report, obviously opening this one, again is an annual report, but the number is 66. So there's no real differences except for the colors and the numbers. So obviously we know we're gonna need to do something with that. And how we interpret this is just grabbing this um, acai table. I'm not exactly sure how to say that. I know what it is, but I don't exactly know how to say it. But Anyways, using this kind of key here, we're going to be able to deduce what the numbers or our decimals mean for a symbol. Again, we know we're looking for three letters to put into that lock based on our numbers here. So we can go ahead and we can tell by the first kind of order of our colors. The first one that we're going to be looking for is like our white or our gray kind of output from our gray folder. So we can go ahead and just open our gray folder again. We have 72 here, and I'm just going to pin this table up to the top for easy reference here. So we know we said we have 72 as our kind of output here for the gray folder. We know that obviously 70, 71, we're missing 72, but obviously between 71, 73, we know 72 is in the middle here, and it correlates with an H symbol. So go ahead and plug H into the first letter combination here. We next have the blue folder, so we can go ahead and open that up. We know we have a number 66. Obviously here would be 65. 66 we actually have as the decimal, but what's missing on this output is just the symbol. So we know obviously between A and C, we're missing our B. So 66 is gonna line up with the letter B. So we can go ahead and put B into the symbol here, or into the lock, sorry. So we have H, B, and now we just need our um, red kind of letter here. So we have 70 as our decimal point. Again, we have that in the table, but we need to figure out its letter. Obviously between E and G, we're missing F. So we're gonna plug F into the combination here, and H, B, F doesn't spell anything, which is a little weird but HBF is going to be our um, three letter kind of combination for the fridge. I'm just gonna throw those folders out for now. As you can see here, once we open the fridge, there's only a couple of things in here. Obviously we've got some energy drinks, we have some milk. The only thing that we need for this is the Chinese food. Again, you can tell just by the clue icon up in the top toolbar here. If you give it a quick inspect, you can see there's nothing really that we can do with this kind of visibly yet. Where we're going to need the Chinese food to come into play is actually just for the combination of this cupboard here. So you can see that this is the same kind of marking that we have on our Chinese food takeout container here. There's kind of bamboo, um, whatever the restaurant kind of logo branding would be. What we need to do to solve this puzzle and to be able to kind of make sense of anything with this Chinese food clue is to first unlock the drawer here. You can see that we need a key to be able to get into here. And where that is is actually just in this random watering can sitting in the middle of the room. If you pick it up and inspect it, turn it around and look inside, there's a key kind of buried down in there. I'm just gonna throw the watering can, but we use this key to unlock this top drawer here. And you can see with that, we unlock a Chinese food or loop food menu. 
So we'll go ahead and open that up. Obviously we can tell that this kind of goes with the same set of clues as it has the same um, kind of iconology on here. So if we open this up, we can see here that we have a couple of different options. Obviously our base, we pick between either noodles or we pick rice. So if we quickly grab our Chinese food and inspect it, you can see it doesn't look like noodles. If you zoom in, you can tell it's more rice looking than anything. Kind of looks like bird seed to me, but this is rice here. So we know we're gonna um, start with $2. Our protein, we have four different options here for the meat that's included in this Chinese food. So we can see here that it is most likely um, resembling the shrimp. It's not gonna be duck, it's not gonna be chicken, um, and it's not gonna be pork, so shrimp. So we have $2 here, we have $7. What we wanna do to be able to add, um, or to be able to get our keypad combination here is to ultimately end up adding all of the ingredient um, dollar totals that we have in our bowl so we're going to just get the total of what it costs to build our own special is going to ultimately be our key keypad combination here so again we said we have the two dollars from fried rice we have the seven dollars from shrimp so we're at a nine dollar total right now if you remember we have broccoli here so that's going to be another dollar twenty on top of our nine dollar total. So we're at ten twenty right now, and then we also have mushrooms just in this bowl also. So here's our broccoli at a dollar twenty. Here's our mushrooms at two dollars. So our total is going to be twelve twenty. There's no decimal point on the keypad, so we can just go ahead and key in um, one two two zero hit the check mark and that is going to unlock our top drawer here and with that we get a flash drive I'm just going to empty these clues now that we are done with these so we get a flash drive and to be able to actually do something with it it's like a simple Rubik's Cube puzzle we just need to make sure that all of our colors line up so just drag them all to green for now and you can see that a flash drive um, a USB port pops open and you can see that we have a computer here we'll just go ahead and plug this in for now if you turn the computer on it tells us that the RAM module is missing currently so we can't actually do anything with that USB drive yet but if we go through these drawers here you'll see there's a stack of papers some more papers but on this bottom kind of desk drawer here on our left we have a RAM module and we have a screwdriver I think there's three different RAM modules in this um, room here but what we need to pay attention first and foremost is kind of we'll drag the screwdriver and just use it on the side computer panel here there's the two bolts that we can unscrew and now we've kind of unlocked um, the ability to plug in our ram what we need to look at here is that we're looking for ddr4 ram and it's also a blue port this one here if we inspect it um, is obviously a green port because it's ddr3 so this isn't going to work in our computer we're looking for a, a blue ram module and it needs to be DDR4. I'm just gonna throw all this out because we don't need any of this right now. Just the drawer under our unlocked kind of Chinese food menu is our blue DD4 RAM module. So you can see, again, it lines up with the blue and we have our DDR4. So once we've kind of unlocked that, we can go ahead and just click and drag it into the port there. So we're all good with that and we can turn it back on and now we have the ability to use a keypad. There's a sticky note just under the monitor here and says login pass, use the TQ code. Um, with that, there's a couple of other different post-it notes here. There's um, another post-it note saying that finally got my head around TQs. This one means six. So you can see that it's kind of a triangular symbol. What we need to do is open up the paper shredder and there is a clue for the TQ code parts in here. There's two pieces of paper and the rest are kind of, kind of shredded up balls. We only need these two that basically form a clue. You're gonna to wanna to collect them both and just inspect one of them and then drag the other on top to make a full kind of clue here. So this is ultimately what's gonna be our um, computer login password here. We can see that there's two full triangles but it's comprised of six different ones. Um, what we need to do to be able to figure out how to actually read this puzzle though, we get, again, we have kind of one clue that helps us understand one part of it, but we need to actually lock, log into our smartphone here. So you can see to be able to log into the smartphone, we need to draw our pattern. 
And where this is going to come from is actually just on the flip side of this whiteboard here. So we can see that we are able to pull this blue eraser from the bottom, bottom of the board and we have the ability to kind of erase the dry stuff or to erase the markings on the front of the board. We don't need the to-do list, we actually need the flip side of this board. And you can see there's kind of a similar um, grid structure to what's on our smartphone here is on the back of the board. We just want to use the eraser and erase everything um, that we can on this board and what we're left with is what's going to be the pattern that we need to draw on the front of the smartphone. So you can see here we're kind of left with um, a couple of just four pointed edges here. So we can go ahead and use that on our smartphone and it's going to be just from our north position to east down to south and then kind of just over to the west of it. And you can see now we're into our phone and we know we're looking to understand the TQ kind of code. So we want to use this TQ unlocker. And basically what this is saying is each full triangle is a three digit code and this is how we would read the order of it. So our top triangle, triangle is going to give us our first number, our right triangle is going to give us the second number, and our third triangle is going to give us the third number. So like this, if we kind of overlap it here, this is our first number, this is our second number, this is our third number. And again, because we have two triangles, we're going to first complete the one on the left, and then this would, in theory, be our fourth number, fifth number, and sixth number here. So it's going to be a six number combination that we need to get into the computer here. So basically what we need to do to read this, I'm just going to pin this smartphone here and pull up our clue. So we see here that our first one is a full triangle. So we know our first number in the combination is a nine. Our second number here, if we look, if the bottom left quadrant of the triangle is filled in, it's gonna be a three, which is what we have here. So we have a nine, we have a three as our second number, and then obviously if everything is completely empty, we have a zero. So our first triangle is nine, three, and zero. And then to work on our second triangle here, we again have our lower left quadrant filled in. So that's gonna be again our three. So nine, three, zero, three. And then we need to use our referenced um, second kind of clue here with this kind of having two quadrants filled out at the same time. So if this one means six, it's the middle kind of triangle filled in and here is gonna mean six. Obviously in our clue right now, we have our middle quadrant filled in and our bottom right quadrant. So that's gonna mean it's seven. And then we have the flip side of that is going to be the middle triangle and eight. So ultimately our combination is going to be nine, three, zero, three, seven, eight. So we can go ahead and plug that into the computer. So we said nine, three, zero, three, seven, eight. And we can go ahead and log in. And now we have access to this USB app. So if you remember, we have the USB plugged in. I don't know if this will show unless we actually have it plugged in. Maybe it will show, but you just can't actually run it. But we'll go ahead and click it to run it. And now with this one, what we're looking to do is essentially come up with a few series of moves that's going to allow us to position these two blue dots on top of the red kind of markings here to give us a USB copy. And what you need to do is basically split these up enough so that they move in kind of different directions. They each only move um, in the same direction at the same time and they only move kind of one, um, one kind of notch up at a time. So you'll see here our first move is going to be go up and you can see that they both move up at the same time, only kind of one notch. We'll go to the right here and then we'll go down and then as soon as we hit the right button because there is nowhere for this one to go it's going to stay but our one on the right is going to move one over so that's going to create a little bit of separation here that we're obviously going to need to be able to kind of fill these gaps here so we'll go one to the right and you can see our one on the right has moved one and this one stayed but now when we move these again we'll go up and you can see we have that little bit of separation but they are still moving in the same direction and only one point at a time We'll go up again and we will move left. Now what we wanna do is we will go up and now we were able to kind of pull this one out of its position there. If we go down and we go to the right, you can see that everything's lined up now and our kind of red notches here are um, covered up and we've created a USB skeleton key. So as soon as we back out of the computer now, you can see that what was green as our USB has now turned to blue. 
in the computer there, just meaning that we have the skeleton key, key created. And again, we have our flash drive. And all we're gonna do is turn around and plug it into our door here. You can see the USB logo turns green and the door opens and we have escaped the office. Again, the second um, Omega Corporation escape room is the office. Hopefully you've enjoyed the entire puzzle walkthrough and the logic explaining of all of the puzzles in the office. If this video helped you, subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games for many more escape simulator guides just like this one.